Hello everyone. Let me show you five easy way to turn your emote to animation. I'm using Clip Studio Paint Pro here. If you are using too, let's give the wonderful animation feature a try. I start by drawing the simple emote. Draw the face on separate layer for easily edit later. I also add border effect to the eyes. Number one, two frame animation. The easiest animation need only two frames. I edit my art by moving the head a bit and change the face, then put it in different folder. Let's put it into animation. If you don't have the timeline panel open, go to Windows, Timeline. You can drag the panel and dock it to the bottom of the screen. Click on the Create Timeline icon. If you use Clip Studio Paint Pro version, you can have only 24 frames. But it's enough. Show all the layer. Drag the small square at the corner of the bar to adjust the visibility of the frame to the timeline. And two frame animation is done. Very easy. Another way you can do is create a new animation folder and put both frame inside the folder. Then on the timeline, right click and pick the frame to show at the time. This is classic way to make frame by frame animation in Clip Studio. If you have more than two frames, this method will fit more. Number two, zoom animation. Zooming can make the scene more dramatic. I create a movement for the mouth with animation folder. Apply the camera effect by 2D camera folder. Go to animation, new animation layer, and 2D camera folder. Put everything inside the camera folder. Select the folder, and on the timeline, create a smooth interpolation keyframe at the beginning and the end. This will make sure that the animation will continue in loop. Select on the frame that will finish the zoom, use the object tool, and resize the camera frame. The keyframe will be created automatically. Copy the keyframe and pass on the frame that you want to zoom out. You can preview it by change the display mode and play. It will zoom in, stop, and zoom out. You can make it more dramatic by adjust the camera size at the zoom out point a bit. You can also rotate the camera view for more dramatic result too. Number 3. Shaken with 2D camera folder, you can also make the shaking animation by selecting the frame and move the camera a bit and repeat on the next frames. If you are lazy to repeat it again and again, you can also hold shift and select multiple frames, then copy and pass it. You can also change the opacity of the layer on the timeline by enable the layer keyframe, select the first frame, then adjust opacity up and down. The layer opacity keyframe will be created instantly. You can expand the layer to see it. At the middle, I make the opacity value more high. And you can see the color changing by the timeline. To create the animation for the object on the screen, right-click and convert layer. 
convert it to image material layer. Then enable the layer keyframe. Create the keyframe at the beginning and the end. And at the middle, use the object tool to move or resize the object. This is a simple way to create the loop animation. Number 4. Parse Animation With the layer keyframe, you can create smooth movement for your emote. Here, I separate the head and the face part into layers. I convert all the layers that I gonna move into image material layers. Then, use the free transform mode of the object tool and edit the head position like she is turning a bit create a new timeline here I change the frame rate to 8 frames per second so it's 3 seconds for 24 frames Enable the layer keyframe and add the smooth interpolation keyframe at the beginning and the end. Add one second of frame number 8. Edit the position of the head like she is inhaling. With this keyframe position, she will inhale fast and exhale slow. Pay attention if you edit something on the first keyframe, you must copy it to the last keyframe too. Repeat the step on the other part. By adjusting the object with the free transform mode, the layer keyframe can also edit in the free transform mode too. I use this technique to create small movement to my animation most of the time. I also use the layer keyframe to show the text on my emote by making it appear and gone with the opacity changing. Number 5 Party Light you can simply change the mood of the emote by changing the color on the still emote. Create a new layer for the color wheels. In the Spatial Ruler tool, select Radio Line Mode. Put the ruler at the middle of the image. Use the Milli Pen tool and set the entire aliasing to None. Pick the color and draw the line to the middle. Make sure the snap to ruler mode is on. Create a circle selection covering the line. Try to make it center to the junction of the line as much as possible. Use the freeform gradient tool and fill in the area to create gradient. Copy and paste the layer. Then, delete the original layer. Lock the transparent. Then, apply blur filter. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Convert the layer to the image material. Then, resize it until one part is covering the entire art. Change the layer mode to color and clip it to the drawing. Enable the layer keyframe for the color wheels. Then, create the linear interpolation keyframe on the beginning and the end of the timeline. At the end point, set the rotation angle to 360. And done!
I hope this tutorial gives you some idea for easy animated emote. See you in the next tutorial. Have fun animating!